Hi, this is Chef Stephanie Rose, and I'm here today from the Simple Cooking with Heart kitchen with the American Heart Association in my home. And today we are going to talk about eating smart with fruits and vegetables. Now, why is that important? Because actually, if you eat more fresh fruits and vegetables, you will maybe lower your risk for cardiovascular disease and stroke. So it's, it's worth giving it a shot, and I challenge you to try to eat just one half cup more fresh vegetables a day. See if you can do that. I mean, you got to start somewhere, right? And it really isn't that hard. I mean, there's lots of things you can do, like eating more fruit. Fruit, fruit's fabulous because it's like it's like already portable. I mean, you grab some grapes and you take them with you and put them in your pocket or put them in your backpack or your kid's backpack. You know, cut up some fresh vegetables. I learned this a long time ago. If you actually cut them up and put them out, you are more likely subliminally to like eat them. I mean, because they look pretty, they're orange, carrots, they're bright, the peppers are red. And you just, you know, if you start doing that, that's, that's just a, that's a great start. So I highly recommend that. And then there's some other little sneaky tricks that I have learned along the way. I mean, like spaghetti sauce is one of our, our go-to, you know, dinners, you know, toma and tomatoes are great for you. So, you know, I'm not going to poo-poo that spaghetti sauce, but you know what? You could puree some vegetables, like some carrots, or you could puree some, some red peppers and sneak that in to the spaghetti and the sauce and nobody would know. So, or you could, you know, make a smoothie. Sometimes it's nice just to make, make the vegetable the main, main ingredient. So that's what I love about this recipe, and it's actually my daughter's idea to do spaghetti squash spaghetti. So I am gonna take you through this easy peasy recipe, and it's gonna become your favorite go-to because the spaghetti squash is naturally, it looks like spaghetti. So I actually have some cooked here right now, already done, okay, it's like an hour in the oven, you know, presto magic oven, <laughs> it's ready. And, you know, it gets soft, you, so you know when it's ready, you can turn it over. Isn't this an un incredible uh, fork? I may not use that. I might just scrape out these seeds. Probably should have done that before I put it in the oven. <laughs> okay, but that's all right. Little bloopers. You can already see how fabulous it is in there. And then we just get rid of those seeds. It's already, it's just, it's spaghettiizing it itself already. And it's, it's also a beautiful color, right? So you want to get about uh, three pounds. And I would say one, one big one like this is probably about three pounds. Look at that. It's gorgeous. You know, if you want to use your hands, go ahead and use it. It's actually almost easier to do it after it's cooked, frankly. But I don't want to lose a lot of my spaghetti. Okay, so I have another container here to put them in. Okay, now my hands are all nice and oogie. There we go. Towel works. So I'm going to scrape it all out. Aha! And put it in here. There we go. Check this blue dish out. It's stunning. And I'm going to use a fork because it makes it easier to sort of get it all out. And then I'll use a spoon to finish scraping it. So I usually go around the side to start. And then it just kind of comes like, comes right out. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I'm also putting it in this container because I could also just sort of pop that into the microwave a little bit later because at this point it's really not that hot, okay? Look at that. And now I'm gonna take the spoon and just scrape out the rest of it. One kind of cute way to serve it, I noticed when I was looking at pictures, a lot of people like to make it and then put it back into the spaghetti squash. So it's like a spaghetti squash serving dish. I thought that was kind of cute. I bet kids would like that, you know? Or maybe you would like that. Give that a try. But I have another little beautiful dish that I'm gonna put it in. All right, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Got that one out. Get the rest of this out. See how beautiful? 
it is. And we have spaghetti. I mean, what kid is not going to love this? What adult's not going to love this? And you're not getting all the carbs, you're not getting all the sugars. You know, meatless Monday. And we are going to be able to put some wonderful basil on this. Oh. And we're going to make a sauce as soon as I get this all out. It's just beautiful. Marvelous. Look how gorgeous that is. Look spaghetti. So, put this aside. And I'm going to get my sauce started. It's going to be super easy. I think I have most of my mise en place already ready to go. Some nice olive oil. I would use um, extra virgin actually because I think that's one of the most healthy oils out there for you. And plus I love the flavor. Okay. A little bit of oil in there and I believe I have half a cup of onions. So of course my pan's not that hot right now but that's okay. Okay so now I'm going to add a little bit of the garlic here, which we have minced. Doesn't have to be too fine, just enough. You can add as much garlic as you like, honestly. Is there such a thing as too much garlic? Not my house. I mean, and garlic is super good for you. It's the bulb of life. That's, that is what it is known as. And that's what I love to call it. So I just wanna simmer this on low for a little bit. Not too high, we don't want any caramelizing going going on and whatever you do don't don't burn your garlic okay if you do that you will have to start over and if you think you need to add a little bit more olive oil it's not frying it's sauteing um, and then I'm going to add um, I cut up a fresh tomato but if you don't have a fresh tomato and you want to use um, a can of diced tomatoes feel free to um, use the low sodium um, cans and you could drain it or you could keep keep the, the water in it so we're gonna add the tomatoes I actually cut up a little bit I cut up one fresh tomato it should be a cup we got that in there that's yum 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 then I guess we get to add some spices okay spices always brighten things up you know and we're gonna add some red pepper flakes because you know, it doesn't have to be a lot of them, just, just enough to, you know, wake, wake things up and give it a little kick, but, you know, not, you know, fire in the mouth. <laughs> so I've got some little red pepper flakes here. I think maybe it says a teaspoon. Okay, I don't want to make it too hot because I want my family to enjoy it and not be their mouths burning. Okay, and then I believe I have some Italian seasoning. Don't get ones with salt. Um, we always, you know, at the American Heart Association, very conscientious about that. So if you just, you know, look at the label and just make sure it's just straight herbs. And if you've got a fancy garden and you want to put in some fresh Italian herbs, if you have oregano, that's wonderful. I do not have any of that right now, except rosemary, and it did not look so good. So... So you want to just stir this up a little bit and you'll start to get that wonderful fragrant smell of the garlic and the herbs oh, that is so good I'd, I'd like this to simmer five or five or so minutes I'd like the tomatoes to break down just a little bit and I want the onions to get a little bit more transparent and so we're just going to let this simmer for, for a tad. Okay, my, um, my tomatoes and onions are like perfect and they're super fragrant. And now I need to add, if I can open up my jar, two cups of tomato sauce. But make sure it's low sodium, okay? Now we have to make sure that we get, actually it's a total of four to five cups of vegetables and fruits per day okay so we try to split it up though you know have some vegetables you know you can have them at, 
You can even have them in the morning, okay? If you're making your eggs, you know, and you, you're sauteing some potatoes on the side, you know, throw in some peppers, you know, throw in some onions. Um, it's so easy to do that. Um, you, won't, you won't even, you, you'll start doing it, you know, work up to it, and eventually it'll almost be automatic. Get those, you know, vegetables in. So that's breakfast. You can have like, you know, there's half a cup there. And then during the day, you're going to nibble on some carrots and some celery. Heck, that, you know, maybe have an apple. That's, you know, two, three cups. And then by the time dinner's here, you're going to have a whole, whole nother cup with the spaghetti squash plus the, the tomato sauce on top of it. That's another cup because tomatoes are important and they're really good for you. So this way, you're really going to be packing on the fruits and, and vegetables. And, and it'll be easy. And it's going to be delicious. So I've got this wonderful, of course, you know I have to taste, taste it, delicious sauce. I love this recipe. I, I, I mean, we eat this all the time. So my sauce, I don't think it really needs to cook much more. I really like this consistency. It looks really good. And look how gorgeous gorgeous my spaghetti squash is. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely stunning. So what I'd like to do, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pour most of this sauce on top of this spaghetti squash. And we're almost in the home stretch. And I want to mix it together. I'm going to save a little bit to put on top. Mix it up gently because you don't want to break up the spaghetti squash. And I'm going to go ahead and add my, my mo mozzarella balls. Don't you love these? The little, the pearl mozzarellas. And if you can't get the pearl ones, don't worry about it. You could always just get another one and cut it up, dice it up into the right size. But I would recommend the nice um, fresh mozzarella. And then you just want to mix these bad boys in here. And then we have fresh basil. Okay, I, we can't. This dish is, um, I think, the basil and the, the fresh mozzarella really makes it. And I may have to add a little bit of black pepper, but I did add a lot of the red pepper flakes. So do we need more pepper? I'm just gently stirring it up. And remember, I did save some sauce on the side. I don't know why I have to say sauce like that. So hopefully the mozzarella balls will kind of melt a little bit. And see how pretty that is? I mean, if you serve this and brought this to the table like this, who, who would not want to eat it? And honestly, I bet you they wouldn't even be able to tell that it's not spaghetti. Seriously. I mean, it looks like spaghetti. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> okay, so I have a lovely little plate here. I think I might need to try a little bit. I think I'm totally ready to try some of this. So I'm gonna put some in my plate. Scoot over. There we go. Move my knife over here. I think I'm ready to have the rest of my <laughs> allotted amount. Remember, it's not the same for everybody. These are all just, you know, recommendations to really help you with your cholesterol and you know avoid the risks and there's all these nutrients in here you know fantastic okay I mean it seriously looks like spaghetti I love that and a little bit more sauce on the top Come a little extra there we go and this is a multi dinner here I, I'm I'm psyched and I know your family is going to be thrilled and they're all going to come running to enjoy this delicious spaghetti squash spaghetti. So thank you so much and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye bye.